Hello everyone, this is September's 2017 Tokyo Treat Unboxing! Yay! Only ate, we already ate half of it. So, I'm going to show you everything that's in this most box. First, everything in the small box, you will get your Dagachi bag, which has about five items inside. You will get a One Crutch Man Crunch Bar. Now... This is a cookies and cream flavor, and it also says that there are three different other designs. This is one of the only things I didn't open. So yeah, it's just a regular crunch pull apart. I did have two chocolate items, and they did melt just like this one, which I don't actually don't mind that much. I did have Pocky. And if you think you have chocolate in any of your boxes, you can always throw them in the freezer. I don't... Ah! Here she comes. Hmm. Although different places have different seasons, I don't always fault them for having chocolate in their box. I don't mind it. But I mean, it does melt together. It is hard to take apart. So I do understand why people get upset. Um, in our Dagashi bag, I'm going to show you what we had in there. First thing was this AJ Curry. It's okay. It's an okay flavor. I don't think I'm fond of curry so much. Then there was this. It's like a champagne Ramon flavor, but I think it's really Ramon. And then they put it in these little chiclets, but it's not gum. It's supposed to be like mulchy, but these are kind of hard. I'm going to squish them. But they are good. I believe they are Ramon flavored though. Then you have these. These are um, noodles with seasoning on them. So basically they just put noodles and they crush it up and they put them in little bags. For those who don't know, Dagashi is like penny candy in Japan. Then when there was this guy. This is the um um able stick. I have no idea what flavor this was. We were trying to figure out. Me and the um me and my coworker had two different type of tastes. I forgot what she said it tasted like. And then there was this. Which is just a very small jelly candy. Next, this is red grape haichu. Now, haichus are normally like in triangle little squares, but these are in a circle. These are their premium edition. It also says 98% of the juice used in these haichus come from Italian Cabernet Soyu non grapes. And these are really good. This is the last item you would get in your small box if you got it. This is the Celebi Satsum A Amon. From what I understand, because I didn't realize that it was sweet potato mixed with um, cream cheese when we were first eating it. Because I was like, it was sweet potato and it kind of tastes like yogurt mixed together. It's like a really interesting flavor. It's a really light flavor. I'm really trying to make this non-blurry as possible. Now, this is down to the regular box. These are called... Ah! Kinnickel Mulchy Crackers. These are light airy rice crackers coated with roasted soy flour. Special was and do sugar and cinnamon. It says all together, these elegant flavors will make your mouth water. Pair with green tea. There are nine pieces inside. They have a lot of powder on it. And if you eat enough of it, you'll taste the flowery. The first time I ate it, I thought it kind of tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The thing is, the more you taste it, the flour and I guess whatever type of sugar this is, 
It kind of makes it taste like peanut butter. Peanut butter and cinnamon. So this is the Tapu Chihe E Faru Fruit Tart. Now these were an inspired item in his limited edition. It was a collaboration between Tapu and this anime. So it gives you this is, uh, it gives you a description of what um show this is, but you probably can't read it because it's blurry. Um Chia Hai a Furyu is a manga that follows Chiheya, a schoolgirl who steps out of her model sister's shadow and becomes a competitive Kayuta Japanese playing card player. And the life she leads with her friends and her rivals, it proven to be so popular that it appeared in both an anime series and a live action. It has an okay flavor, but I don't get the fruity tartness. Like, it's ve if it is, it's very, very low. Kind of like how juicy fruit is supposed to be juicy and fruity, and it's not. It's not. Next was these Hello Kitty Pocky sticks. They're strawberry. I don't, I'm not a fan of strawberry. And they were melted together. And there was a boy, he liked them, so I let him keep it. I could have either got this Hello Kitty one. Or there was a Rolakuma honey one. Honey roasted. So I would have been better with those. Now these are Jagabi. Uh, ya, what is it? Yazu fruit? Well, Yazu salt. Um, These are a light summer snack popular. Jazabi. Potato sticks come in a simple but refined Yazoo salt flavor. The refreshing citrus aroma and flavor is of the Yazoo adds a nice accent to these crunchy chips. They call them chips, but they're fries. And <laughs> I swear, it's like when you buy the 25 bag of chips and they were half full, this was literally half full with like two big sticks on the side. So this is pretty much how much was in there in the first place. <laughs> but yeah. They look like little french fries, but they are super hard. Although I like the crunch. It has a really, really small hint of whatever citrus flavor it's supposed to be. So there is one more item in the regular. Sorry, I can't find it at the moment, but it was actually a little Pikachu Ramon packet. It was really, really small, like this big. It could have been like one of the penny candies. But it had a couple of little candies in there, and it was really good. It was supposedly strawberry flavored, and then it goes to a melon flavor, but I chewed it and went straight to the middle in favor. Now, in our premium, we have this Cool Ami Hello Kitty Ramon. Cool Ami is a popular sour plum franchise release a cabulation item with Hello Kitty. The cute packaging holds heart-shaped ramen candies that comes in a fizzy apple soda and refreshing plum sour plum flavor. Yep, comes in little yellow or pinky hearts. These actually weren't that bad. So, this is our drink. It's a jelly drink. It's great flavor. So a jelly drink is, think about like Kool-Aid, only you put jello inside of your Kool-Aid, and that's your jelly drink. So, this guy is called Doramon, and he has a sister, and I didn't know that. And I'm kind of glad that she's not pink. She's yellow, she's bright. They kind of look alike. Um, let's see, yeah. You can get it chilled, or you can freeze it. So this is our featured item of the month, and as soon as I seen it, I was like, yes! This is our Wasabi Star Chips, and I'm so glad that it wasn't, even though I like shrimp flavor, I'm glad it wasn't, or salt flavor, because that seems to be the only ones that we ever get. And look at it. Let's see here how long this is. This isn't one of those small ones. It's really, really good. 
Um, uh, they only released this because it was summertime. Using wasabi powder and paste from um, Aizumanu Shinju, these chips are sure to add extra heat to your summer. Now, these weren't too bad. It was like you eat it, you get a small little wasabi, and then it disappeared. But for some reason, some people just couldn't take it. Which was hilarious to me. Next is our DIY. A new DIY that I've never seen before. This is a Oh Dang Oh Ya Yesum DIY kit. Create cute and tasty miniature wagashi set with this fun DIY snack kit. Add water and powders to the the provided tray assembled to create your own wagashi set that is visually summoning. Now, I forgot what wagashi means. And I think that's how you say wagashi. Basically, I call it mochi. All of this in here is mochi to me. Unless they're talking about like an actual like setup thing and I want to do it in this video but we're already at 12 minutes I might do it anyway so in our box our cute little toy is the zoom zoom it's a flashlight there are several other colors I got this light purple it's also a pen which someone pointed out to me because I wasn't reading the book I was just like cool flashlight Cool to have universal things. You got a flashlight? Yes, I have a pen. You have a a book? Mm, yeah, it's a knife. I don't know. <laughs> but they were nice. They were nice and they gave you a bonus item in your box this month. Or I did anyway. It's a remit. So, this is also Attack on Titans. And I forgot who this was. At first I thought it was the boy, but it's not him. Who is this person? I will have to look her up. I at least know it's a girl. So, that is all we have in Tokyo Treat September of this month. Thank you for watching. I hope I wasn't rambling too much. Tell me if you liked your box. Or tell me if you got the same bonus item I did. Well, I'll talk to you later. And stay random.